Have you turned it? <laughs> Turn it back. Coffee, stat. Don't spill it, I swear to <laughs> God. I'm trying not to. <sighs> You're fantastic, oh my God. And my laptop froze. This is gonna be a great video. <laughs> bring you guys a really casual video I just wanted to drink my coffee and just talk about stuff so for today I want to talk about 18 things I learned at 18 I know my birthday was in February and I wanted to make this video back then but I just never had the time so I just wanted to drink my coffee and sit in my bed so it's kind of like we're having a conversation just at like my house and it's really casual and really personal so I hope you enjoy this video is going to be 18 things I learned at 18 so let's just get started number one I mean this in the nicest way possible but nobody cares I don't mean this in the way that nobody cares about me or my well-being or doesn't want what's best for me but I mean that in the way that nobody cares about every single thing that I do. I feel like a lot of the time when I was 18, I was worried about, oh, are people looking at me? Are people thinking about me? Like the reason I didn't start a YouTube channel earlier when I wanted to is because I cared about what people thought about me when honestly nobody cares what I'm doing. Like nobody obsesses over every movement that I make or every idea that I have or the way that I talk or the way that I look, the way that I do. So honestly, I should just do what I want. That's number one, it's lit. Number two is if it doesn't make you happy, cut it out of your life. Honestly, that goes for so many things. Once again, I feel like when I was 18, I was holding on to so many things in my life. I was holding on to so many people and hobbies and classes and friendships and all these different things because I didn't want to leave my comfort zone. I didn't want anything to be different. I wanted everything to stay the same. But none of these things made me happy, so I don't really know why I was doing them. But if something doesn't make you happy or make you a better person, I've learned this year that I need to cut it out of my life. I don't need it. You only need things that lift you up and make you a better person in the end. Number three, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. This was a big thing that I learned this year. Being 18, a lot of things that I did were kind of predictable things. They were really easy, nothing that was really different out of the box for me. I think me starting my YouTube channel was definitely the thing that was the least expected. Nobody really could like predict me doing it and it was just something that was really different and something that I've been wanting to do for years and I'm just really happy that I did it. But also I found a lot of new friends this year and I really learned how to be okay with being alone and being by myself. 18 was definitely a year first and trying new things and I'm so grateful that I was able to do that and I really learned that once you leave your comfort zone everything is so much better. Number four, family is everything. I feel like when I was younger I took my family for granted because they were always there, they were always around, I always had them to turn to but now that I'm in college they're not going to be there all the time and it really taught me a lot and I learned a really big lesson. Going off to college really changed my perspective on my family. They're really my rocks and my best friends and they mean so much to me and I really don't know what I would do without them. And so what I learned this year is to keep your family close because they honestly are the ones that are always going to be there for you no matter what. Number five, find genuinely amazing people in your life and don't let them go. While I was 18, I met so many amazing people because I went off to college and I got so close with my best friends from home. Find the people that make you laugh until you cry. Find the people who will keep your darkest secrets, who will dry your tears, who will stand up for you, who make you feel like you're on top of the world and who love you no matter what. Also find the people that will love you unconditionally and give it back to them because these are the people that will always be there for you, who you'll have the craziest stories with, the funniest memories, and will also help you when you're feeling down. So definitely find the amazing people in your life and hold on to them and don't let them go. Number six, don't define yourself by numbers. Your self-worth is not determined by your weight, the money you have in your bank, your age, or your followers. You decide what you're worth, nobody else, and definitely not a number. Number seven, be a leader, not a follower. Don't do something because everyone else is doing it. It's not cool. Also, don't be a dictator. You can help to steer people in your direction without blinding them to the rest of the world. Be your own person, and the right people will follow shortly. Slow down. Take time for yourself. Whether that's reading a book, watching Netflix, going for a walk, or just taking a seat. Your switch can't always be on. Trust me, I tried that, and it's exhausting. Number nine, this is a big one that I learned this year and it's definitely one of the most important life lessons that I've learned. Love will come, don't look for it. I spent much of this year worrying that I would be single for the rest of my life, but I learned in the most unexpected times you'll find what's meant for you. Don't stress, good things come to those who wait. Number ten is go with your gut. If you get a bad feeling from a person or a place, listen to your instincts because you're probably right. Number eleven, healthy habits aren't just limited to the physical. When you think of health, you think of physical, but there's another aspect, mental health, and it too can get out of shape. Read, talk to those who inspire you, journal, and drown in the love you have for the world. 12. Drop the drama, you don't need it. 
Call up an old friend to get together, apologize and move on. Grudges, I swear, take off 10 years of your life and you don't need them. Number 13, make your bed as comfortable as possible because every good day starts with a good night's sleep. Number 14, popularity is a joke. Don't hang out with people who don't have your best interests just because you like how they make you look and how people treat you when you're with them. Trust me, these aren't the friendships that will last. Be with the people who make you grow as a human being, not who use you as a step stool to get to something better. Number 15, don't put your time to someone who wouldn't even give you the time of day. Spend time with your best friends and your family and put your energy into those who give the love right back. Number 16, it's okay to get rejected. It's also okay to cry about it. Whether it's getting rejected from the boy you like or at college, it's like that saying, fall down seven times, stand up eight. No matter how many times you fall apart, always stand up again. Number 17, take pride in what you make. Whether it's a decision, a friend, a project, anything. You made that and you have the right to shout it from the rooftops for everyone to hear. And finally, number 18, self-love is tough. Loving yourself doesn't just mean accepting your body, it means being confident in who you are. It means learning to do things by yourself and having pride in your independence. It means being okay with being by yourself, but understanding that just because you're alone does not mean you're lonely. It takes time, but once you find it, you will take the world by storm. Thank you so much for watching my 18 things I learned at 18 video. Definitely comment down below if you can relate to any of these. Also, definitely comment down below where I like this video if you like this style of video that I did. I really kind of like the more casual personal style like this, and I really want to make this maybe a series and have other people come on and we can answer questions of yours possibly. So definitely let me know if you'd like to see that. Don't forget to like this video you did and subscribe if you want to stick around for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!